brothers and sisters in the Lord. Uh, welcome to our spill today on the conversation between uh, Peter and John and the beggar at the temple gate called Beautiful. Last time we talked about uh, our willingness uh, to accept the best uh, from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So today I want to share with you what Peter said to the lame beggar. Silver or gold I do not have. This is verse 6. But what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Verse 7. Taking him by the right hand, Peter helped him up. And instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped, leaped, and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. You see, Peter did not have any money, but he did have authority from Jesus to heal the sick. You know, it's a sad thing uh, for a church to say silver and gold have we none. But it's much worse for a church to say we have no spiritual power to say to people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise and walk. Strength, notice strength did not come to the lame man until Peter said these words, rise up and walk. Immediately, his feet and ankle bones received strength. He then entered the temple with Peter and John, walking, leaping, and praising God. Notice, that this man did not praise Peter and John, but he praised the Lord. Let those who are listening in say, praise the Lord for his goodness, for his mercy, for his kindness, for his mercy endures forever. Have you been, my brother, my sister, have you been the recipient of the Lord's healing power and you did not give him praise and thanksgiving? You ought to do it right now. Go ahead and take liberty to do so. But that's what I'm going to do right now. I thank you, Lord, and I praise you for your healing power in my life. Were it not for you, Lord God, I know I wouldn't be here now to serve in this capacity. You truly are an awesome God, and I thank you. Thank you.